What's up everyone, I have my cheat mods on. Hey everyone, so today on this farm we are going to be speaking to literally no one. We are going to have zero friends, uh, completely avoid everyone, and be a, a, a shut-in, you know? We're just going to not talk to anyone, completely ignore everyone in, in general. Why, you ask? Uh, you, you know, just, just one of those days. So as we're, we're going to be trying to keep everyone uh, with the question mark, because uh, we don't want to know anyone. Wait, why do we know these guys? Um... It's a little weird. Also, why the heck are all these people marryable? Oh, because I have a mod on. Okay, that makes sense. I was a little confused. But anyways, we're just, we're just going to kind of see how much progress we can make without talking to anyone, ignoring the first cutscene, because that is completely unavoidable. So I think the first thing we're going to do is just chop up all of these leaves on our farm, and hopefully collect some mixed seeds to plant. All right, after hoeing basically all of the fiber, uh, we have ended up with a, a, a whopping um, three mixed seeds. Not, not exactly the ratio I was hoping for, but I mean, I guess it's better than nothing. I hope they're potatoes. I want potatoes, man. At least we can do a nice even row. And dang, we got a cauliflower, a parsnip, and a potato. We got the trifecta of crops. Spring crops from mixed seeds. That's insane. Love to see it. All right, let's head into town and not speak to anyone. Let's completely ignore them. We're just gonna see how far we can go without talking to anyone. Because, I mean, like... Like, do you even gain anything from talking to people? You have to talk, you have to give people so many valuable things to even gain, gain anything for yourself. And some people just straight up don't give you gifts. Like, I don't want to name names, but Haley doesn't give you gifts. She's just like, really mean, I guess. And also, I lied, I totally did want to name that name. That's why I did name the name. What a lovely day in Pelican Town. The butterflies are butterflying, and there's not a soul in sight. Oh, holy smokes, daffodil galore. I've never seen this many daffodils. I guess we're just gonna do our normal routine of checking all the trash cans, look for some forageables, etc. I, I really, really dislike lost books. The more and more I get them, the more I hate them. I used to be like, yahoo, lost book, woohoo. But I, I really dislike them. I, I'm actively starting to hate them, in fact. Let's get some more mixed seeds. Last time we got one. Can we break the record? Nope, we tie the record. Awesome. Just what I wanted to say. Ugh, Linus. I want to talk to you, buddy, but I, I just can't, man. It's a tough life for all of us, I know. And holy, nine forageables. That is a very good haul so far. Probably gonna be even more in Cinder Sap Forest. That's what I'm hoping. Oh yeah, and you might've noticed I chose the beach farm. And in case you're wondering why I did that is because just to kind of keep with the no friends theme, uh, anyone who chooses the beach farm has uh, no friends. So just wanted to keep that keep that in mind. M no offense, of course, to beach farm users. Just just what I've noticed uh, in my, my limited experience. All right, we into forest. Also, I need to zoom out my stupid UI. Oh, someone just added me to their friends list. Um, shout out to Mi Mickey you Mickey you if you're watching this leave a comment. Oh my gosh mixseed. Oh my gosh horseradish I don't think I've ever gotten this many forageables on day one. In fact, I'm almost certain I haven't oh my gosh Look at her go. Holy smokes. Da freak Wait jazz <laughs> Jazz what um um she, uh, j Jazz uh, j Jazz Hey, Marnie, um, oh, well, uh, you know, that, that's n none of my business, you know, if she wants to <laughs> climb on the roof. Oh my god, Haley. Oh, Marnie! Jazz is, like, having some, some issues. Um, I can't even tell her, that's sad. I guess she'll find out herself, it's fine, she doesn't really need to know. But wow, that's, that's a little strange. Um, not exactly sure why that's happening. And holy smokes, Spring Onion City down here. And they're all the same quality, so I don't use up the last of my inventory space. Awesome. We're living the dream! Except we got six daffodils, the worst forageable. Oh man, I forgot to buy my crops today. That's fine, I'll buy them tomorrow. Nice, we're back at the homestead and no one has been talked to. Awesome. We just witnessed a child, uh, run into the abyss. But, you know, none of our business. Uh, she should just, like, be more careful, I guess. Yeah, not, not really my problem, in, in my opinion. All right, I guess tomorrow, let's let's go buy some stuff. i decorate up my house a little bit before that, though. Why can I not rotate this carpet? Oh, I can't rotate this carpet. Wow. Another reason this beach farm sucks. Beautiful decoration. You love to see it. All right, off to bed now. Level one forging already. Amazing. We're popping off. I think today's main objective uh, will be fortifying my farm against potential intruders. Just in case any NPCs uh, get a little bit too friendly. We definitely don't want that. So we're going to need a little bit of wood just to collect that. And we're also going to go try to buy some seeds for money. Because we kind of broke right now, to be to be honest. And uh, another objective we're going to do is um, attempt to make some non-human friends because those are the only guys you can you can truly trust in this world you know Haley's gonna backstab you 
Um, someone else might backstab you. Probably mainly Haley though. That's that's the main backstabber I can think of right now. I hate the stupid geode cutscene also. All right, we have cleared enough space. Let's get this going. Boom, tree farm baby, already done. And the only friend I can think of is, um, so I can make a scarecrow, but I need to get level one farming. I, I don't have level one farming, so I'll have to remain friendless for the time. I guess the trees will be my friend. I will be like Lorax of Stardew Valley, I guess. I'm gonna walk around and shake every single tree. And also maybe cut down some trees too, uh, using all this food I got yesterday. I just wish half of it wasn't daffodils, because I can't eat any of the daffodils, because they give zero energy. Dude, I'm winning the, I'm winning the, the seed lottery. Look at all these on the ground. Amazing. Bro, I don't want to break your stupid rock. Just let me eat my lead. All right, I got a little bit heated there. Rocks grinding my gears a little bit though, to be to be frank. I was about to throw away my sap to pick up the mixed seeds, but then I remember there's like some weird group of people that really like sap, and I, I, I don't entirely understand why. Uh, someone wants to explain why, you know, maybe I'll be more open, um, but currently I, I have absolutely zero idea. I'm almost exhausted, but it's worth it because my tree farm already looks pretty nice. I don't know why, but I'm getting flashbacks to my can't leave the farm video. I, I remember spending ages making a tree farm there. And now we have literally zero energy, so let's go explore the world a little bit. And we also have a ton of wood. So I'm actually, I'm going to take these spring onions because you, you guys will see what I'm planning. Right, we're in the real world. So essentially, just, just to make sure that no one can get into our farm, we're going to get a ton of fences and gates. That way there's just like a little bit of a, a little bit of defense just in case anyone gets a little bit too neighbory. You know, this is a pretty small town, you know, people can get friendly. So I just wanna make sure there's absolutely no risk of that happening. All right, I think that's adequate defense for now. That looks pretty solid to me. It's gonna be a little bit of a chore getting into my farm, but it's worth it. It's also randomly, it just destroyed my gate. Oh no, it didn't, Never mind. All right, nice. I guess let's head on over to Pierre's and uh, buy some seeds. You know, I'm excited to do that. Oh yeah. The point of this challenge is that I can't talk to people, so I guess no buying some seeds. Yahoo! Oh my god, a pink cake. No way. Wait, what? I don't think I've ever gotten. That's like probably one of the best things I've ever received from a garbage can, to be honest. Besides like the trash ad. 250 energy is not shabby at all. Holy. Nothing else good it looks like. I guess I'll I'll use that money to chop down some more trees and fortify my farm a little bit more. I know I said I wasn't gonna be a short-term thinker anymore, but I'm gonna leave the stumps again. Oh, uh, Leah. Man, if you guys don't know, Leah's my favorite wife. I marry her in pretty much every save. And I accidentally just dropped a tree on her. Thankfully, she didn't seem to notice. I guess she has, like, a pretty tough skull. I can respect that. Uh, a little bit strange she didn't even mention it to me. If a stranger dropped a tree on me, I would be a little bit concerned. It reminds me of that one time I was out walking with a buddy and a giant tree like a giant tree branch fell off of a tree and we were just underneath it so it missed us by like three or four steps like we were walking we walked underneath it three or four seconds later this massive branch just just falls um i think i have a photo of it somewhere if i can be bothered to find it during editing i'll, I'll probably put a picture if not you're just gonna have to take my word on it uh it did happen it was kind of it was kind of a jump scare i did not see it coming in the slightest for sure but you know it was good experience good story to tell All right, nice, it's all nice and secure. No one will be getting in. We'll just have one more entrance to seal up and then I'm gonna head off to bed. Townsfolk probably think I'm like an insane conspiracy, conspiracy freak or something. Like, I mean, I am to be fair, like definitely. Abigail's definitely the wizard's daughter. That's my first uh, take. Um, what else? There's some conspiracies. Mary Lewis is 100% scamming the town. What else? Um, dang, I'm, I'm kind of struggling with Stardew Valley hot takes. I accidentally spent all of my wood on a gate. I'm gonna go chop a bit more wood. It's not letting me place a fence here for whatever reason, so I guess there's just gonna be no fence there. Not super pumped about the lack lack of defense, but we'll have to we'll have to live with it. And holy smokes, I didn't even notice we got so many pine cones. And we got some another crop from the next seed. I have no idea which one. But hopefully something good. Potato. Now that all those the entrances are sealed, I can finally sleep in peace, you know? No worries about anyone sneaking onto my farm. Ugh, I would go to the beach and get my stupid fishing rod, but I think that would involve talking to someone. She's not allowed. I'm gonna go do a little run around. Actually, I think I'm just gonna nap for a little bit so the forageables respawn and then, then head out and look for more of them. Cannot remember for the life of me which day it is. And oh hey, our parsnips are growing. I guess it must have rained because I obviously did not go out and water them. Cause 
<laughs> imagine remembering that. So I guess we'll harvest those all up. And then actually I'm gonna go back to bed, that way I'm farming level one, and we can do something very important, absolutely critical. Little bit short on wood, easily fixed. And we got our good old buddy, the Scarecrow. This is going to be my only friend in the world, and he is going to also guard my crops. So we kind of have the, the same interests, which is always good for a friendship, you know. He wants to guard my crops, I don't want my crops to be eaten by crows. It's a win-win for everyone. Oh, a crate! Yo, I forgot about these. And some seaweed. Wow, basic retaining soil is... Or sorry, quality retaining soil. Okay, that's pretty good. Hey, mixed seeds aren't bad, I guess. You know what? I'm gonna do a little gamble down here. I'm just gonna plant all these mixed seeds down here and hope the retaining soil will keep the seeds watered. And then maybe maybe someday I'll, I'll forget about them and come down here and be like, wow, bunch of crops, yahoo. What a nice day. Basically, I'm I'm setting up future Wally Gug to have a good time in exchange for current Wally Gug uh, being broke. Exiting the farm is kind of, kind of an annoyance, but it's worth it for our safety. A lot of people after us for um, uh, me disliking Haley. Can't forget about trekking, trekking, uh, checking trash cans too. That's a smart idea. Maybe we'll find another pink cake. I kind of wish I hadn't eaten my pink cake. <sighs> I I think I need to make a mod that just removes lost books from the game. Holy smokes, that's basically a pink cake. 200 energy, that's nothing to scoff at. Holy. I think I have a new goal. My goal is just going to be completely obliterate the tree ecosystem of Stardew by chopping down every single tree that isn't... Sorry, Linus, buddy. I, I know you really... You hate to see it, but uh, you won't even know I'm doing it. You'll just slowly notice it. I'm not going to like walk up to you and say, hey, Linus, I'm destroying the ecosystem. You're just going to notice one day, hey, why why are there all just stumps everywhere? There's no trees. And I'm gonna, just going to be like, I don't know, maniacally laughing in the background. Hate this stupid tree, by the way. I I think it's better to cut it to the left though because some of it at least lands on the bridge but most of it is just long gone okay that's quite a few trees gone up here i'm gonna go get the ones over here unfortunately it looks like there's no forageables which was the main objective of this day but i'll i'll live i guess don't mean to be melodramatic but barely in case you're wondering why i'm getting rid of all the trees uh that way i can control the tree ecosystem i can set wood at my own price because look at all these acorns i'm just gonna plant them all on my farm so essentially this is my get rich uh slow scheme because trees grow very slowly after googling it it takes 25 to 30 years for a pine tree to grow so yeah we're, we're gonna be broke for a while but uh man it's gonna pay off looking forward to it big time all right that's most of my sap okay not not most that's all of my um i just call them all acorns even though they technically aren't that's all my acorns planted uh sorry stardew like, I don't know, Stardew nitpickers or something. Uh, I'm gonna go chop down the rest of the trees in Cinder Sap Forest. Can't wait to destroy some fragile ecosystems. Also, I, I was thinking about going to the mine, but um, you need to do a cutscene with Gunther uh, to get your sword when you first go in, so it's not really doable. Sure, you could argue it's not technically an NPC. Mar well, Marlin isn't an NPC because he's not on this list. I think it just kind of goes against the spirit of the challenge, which unfortunately does mean the mines will be blocked off. But, you know, at least I have my morals. And in your case of, in case you're wondering what I'm gonna do, if there's a sapling, I'm just gonna put a little path over it because that means the tree can't grow. So if you ever really don't want a tree to regrow somewhere, like in a specific spot across the world for whatever reason, I don't know why, I'm sure there's some scenario where you wouldn't want a tree to grow. Just put a little path over it and you'll be, you'll be dandy. Marnie, hey, ugh. Marnie and she who shall not be named. I think I'll just refer to Haley. this is the last time I'm gonna say her name, as she who shall not be named. Just to kind of confuse people. That's a successful day in my books, you know? We collected a ton of acorns, we got a ton of wood, we're balling. I don't know what I should do with all my wood. I've already kind of, I've already kind of like fenced everything off. I'm not really sure what, what to do with it all. I think I've got an idea though, but it's gonna take a little bit of collecting. We've got 200, that's good. All right, the question is, can you guess my master, my master scheme? All right, I've collected all the coal I need. The good ending, surrounded by friends. Thanks for watching. Go check out this video on screen right now or else. Uh, bye.